Thank you for your time with our questions. What's your name? I'm Shannon. Shannon? Yes. And probably like everyone, very curious about the truth, and we search for it. Um, only if you're comfortable, would you mind answering your journey to enlightenment or, or mastery in the sense that you've experienced or experiencing it now? So in the open satsangs, I don't speak about myself because it takes up too much time and okay. it's a very long story. So, okay. so that would actually be happening in immersives or things like that. And I anyway don't feel that it's that important finally because I'm not trying to hide my process or my journey or whatever, but it is really about yours, you know, mm -hmm. it is about yours. And when, so in a religious context, the church or the, the institution, whatever it is, will say these are the pastors, these are the priests, this is the pope, this is the cardinal and so on. In spirituality, it's always about what do you feel in the presence of someone. If you feel that you can learn something from that person, then you ask them the questions. Spirituality is a very anarchic field in that sense because there is no real... because anyone can sit on an asana and say anything about themselves. I had this amazing enlightenment experience or I had Self-realization or I'm this or that. Finally, it's about what do you feel in the presence of this person or this being and what is your question? That's... What perpetuated or propelled you to keep going on your journey when that Those. would again be a personal question. Okay. okay. Why don't you just focus on yourself okay. and see what is the question Shannon has, if at all. It's not necessary that you have a question. If you do, what is it? What is that existential question? You have, you can take your time, just sit quietly and see if you come up with. Do you ever feel like you've... It's again about me. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um. You know why you're doing this? No. <laughs> because you're focused outward. Mm. Shannon is... Shannon. She no? is, yeah. She is? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, then I'll just thank you for your time. And I really like that you said um, spirituality is a dance that we don't know the steps yet. Um, before I sit down, if this is okay to ask, your ring on your middle finger. <laughs> yes. Is that something that you answer the ring all the you time? Can, the ring you can ask okay, about, yes. It's in the, the, the picture, so sorry if you've answered this a lot. But no, I can time. answer that. This is, a, this is actually something which is a symbol of, a, of the six layers of consciousness in a human being. The center is the point of self-reflection. It's also the bindu, yeah. which is the, the point of meeting of the, of the cosmos outside and the cosmos within. Also, each of these layers, they have an evolutionary correlation to the mineral world, to the plant world, the animal world, the humans, the new beings and the beings that follow. So each of them represents clearly a, a being or a manifestation on the, along the trajectory of time on this planet. Thank and uh, it's a yantra also, which was created for, or was used actually by students to meditate on. So it has various functions. Shaman Baba. Thank you. Thank you.